paintings I have hanging here at the collaboratory are astronomical landscapes. A few of Mars and then one terrestrial one of a scene here on our good Earth. Curious Frontier is a landscape of the Curiosity rover, which is the most recent rover that was sent to Mars by NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's a painting of, of an imagined landscape that I sort of composited from looking at different images that Curiosity sent back. Um, and so Curiosity is looking out over this new frontier of space. I think it's really amazing that we have this machine that we've built collaboratively, humankind has made, and it's on the surface of another planet, and it's, it's an extension of ourselves and of the human spirit, and I, I think that's really beautiful because for the longest time we've only known Mars as a point of light in the sky, a red point of light, and now we can see it as an actual place with horizons. I made sure to add the, the earth and the sky and the Martian sky as a blue point of light, as a comment on the great distance that we've crossed. So the Martian landscapes, the two smaller ones, were studies of scenes were sent back from the Curiosity rover and trying to figure out what it would look like if I was standing on the surface of the planet, how the light would look in the thin atmosphere, how it would look on the unique soil or dirt that's there, what kind of clouds might be in the sky. So I did a lot of reading about Martian weather and geography and geology to try and find the most accurate way to represent it. It's just, it's really hard because no one has ever stood on the surface of Mars, so we don't really know. It's just, it's all a best estimate. And Council of the Void is a landscape of the radio telescope array in New Mexico. And these radio telescopes stand maybe 80, 90 feet tall, and there's maybe 30 of them, and they're all out in the middle of this empty, desert, high desert of the San Agustin Plains in New Mexico, and they watch the sky 24-7 and record data and information for scientists to analyze. And They're machines, but I think they're very beautiful machines. And they almost seem alive to me, and to me they feel imbued with a spirit, with our spirit of curiosity, of wanting to know more about the world, wanting to discover things about the universe that we can't see with our animal senses. And when I saw them in person, I was struck by how much they reminded me of ancient structures from early human civilizations that were made to measure the sky and keep track of the movement of heavenly bodies and we've gone from stone ziggurats and towers to intricate steel structures that measure just like the ancient structures did but they measure more precisely because our universe as we know it now is a lot bigger than when it was way back then because along a long, long time ago, we thought we, we existed within crystalline spheres and that the universe revolved around the Earth, the Sun revolved around the Earth, and since then the universe has just gotten bigger and bigger and our picture has gotten bigger and bigger. I studied at Gage Academy of Art in the KOH Atelier under Jedi artist Mark Kang O'Higgins for five long years <laughs> and <laughs> it was mostly spent finding my voice 
and what I wanted to communicate and trying and failing at a bunch of things, but I wanted to stick with it until I felt like I had a confident ground to stand on in, with respect to what I wanted to say and what subjects I wanted to explore. I don't think I'll ever get tired of painting of space because it's there's always something new happening, new discoveries, and I just am enamored with the spirit of discovery and it just, it inspires me and I think that it is important to recognize these scientific discoveries and how they're important for humankind in a spiritual sense because science is about the pursuit of truth and I think some people see a divide between spirit and science whereas I don't see any divide I think it's all part of the same thing and if I can paint paintings that convey so the poetry of science in a visual artistic language, um, that would be a direction I would like to keep heading in.